It's time for the 2018 Winter Meetings with Seed Consultants, and just so happens every year I choose the one at Dirt Dutchman in Plain City for some strange reason, Mike Early. Uh, Mike's with Seed Consultants, and uh, you led this particular meeting and other meetings around the state. And One of the things you tested in 2017 that you'd like to talk about with growers across the state is planting depth. Uh, you found some really unique and interesting things in 2017. Tell me about what you found and, and what you're telling growers out there. Well, what we've been finding, uh, not just this year, but every other year, a lot of people are just aren't planting deep enough. Uh, we need to get this corn in the ground uh, inch and three quarters, two inches, even a little bit deeper if, uh, if it doesn't bother you. Uh, I like to see two to two and a quarter. Uh, it seems like, and as we go deeper, yields have gone up, standability has gone up, and that's what we're after in the long run is more yield. Well, everyone thinks with planting depth, they, they, the first thing you think of is emergence and, and getting a uniform emergence. There are so many other things that can go wrong if you plant shallow. What other things can a farmer look for that might be an issue or two early on? Well, if we're planting too shallow, and I'm talking about that inch and inch and a quarter, we're not getting deep enough for the roots to be below soil level. We don't get to reach below soil level. We lose standability. We get into floppy corn syndrome. We get into new, uh, chemical uptake to the pl corn plant instead of the nutrients. Uh, the roots get into the chemical zone, and that's all they're taking up. So we get a lot of chemical injury. So there's just a lot of things that can go into it. If we don't get that corn deep enough, uh, we're going to lose stand. Uh, we get a lot more runts, uh, corn plants. There's just a lot of things that go into it if we don't get deep enough. And not only other, these other things, but yielding is a big thing that we're losing. Speaking of emergence, so important to get out of the ground early. Very important. That's why you know we need to get that uniform emergence. And there again, planting depth is a big part of the uniform emergence. Uh, we need to get everything out of the ground in 24 to 72 hours if we want to maximize yields for that growing season. So, you know, the big th those are big things to look at uh, in the long term. I know you're conventional with your test plots. You have a lot of guys around here, especially in Plain City and, and uh, Union County, that are no-till and, and a lot of more farmers going in that direction as well. So how is what you find in your conventional different from the no-till guys and, and what might they do a little bit differently? I don't know that we'd look at it a whole lot different. Uh, we've got guys that are no-till on it three inches deep. Uh, he, when they said they, when they went to three inches, their yields went up. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer for it to come out of the ground, but if your yields go up, that's what we're after. As we look at the bottom line, in 2018, looks like things are going to be a lot like they were in 2017 with price action for the corn and soybeans. We talk about rotation a lot, and a lot of farmers, as you know, in 2017 planted soybeans. Uh, as they look at the books and, and find out how to make a profit, soybeans might be the answer again in 2018. How many farmers are you hearing doing that back-to-back, -back? and what advice do you have for them if they're taking that route? Well, agronomically, we never like to see that. It's always better to get into a rotation uh, for agronomics. But when it gets into the financial, gets into your back pocket, you know, then we have to do things sometimes a little different than what we'd like to. Uh, we just, big thing is there, make sure we don't plant the same variety back to back. If we're going to go to continuous beans or second year beans, don't plant the same variety in the same field. Uh, if we start getting into multi years of continuous beans, chances are we're going to need to do a lot more scouting. We're probably going to get into some fungicide applications because the disease is starting to uh, give us a lot more pressure into that continual soybean situation. Mike Early with Seed Consultants leading the meeting here at Plain City, uh, and we're going to have a lot more meetings here throughout the month of January. You can see a full list of dates, times, and places at SeedConsultants.com. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins. We'll see you down the road.